This is command. Come in, Ray Rider. This is Ray Rider. Preparing for descent. All clear, command? Roger that. Be careful with those panels. Contact us when you have made your landing. We'll keep you informed. Kyle out. Everything checks out, Kyle. We are ready to land. Roger that. Disconnecting from orbital capsule. I still don't understand why we are putting solar panels on the moon. It's because days on the moon are longer and there's no clouds to get in the way. Perfect for solar panels. Lowering landing gear. Beginning our final burn. 200 meters. Adjusting angle. Canceling horizontal velocity. 100 meters. Increasing burn by 2%. Almost there. Easy on the gas, Ashley. I know what I'm doing. 50 meters. Bracing for contact. And... Oof. Contact. Command. Ray Rider has touched down. Copy that. Congratulations, Ray Rider. Ready? Yeah. Let me get my tools. Let's get to work. I'll start unpacking the solar panels. Great. I'll start clearing the rocks away. Good idea. Looks like they made it just fine. They don't look broken or anything. Are you sure? We've better test them. How? Try hooking them up to the radio. Oh yeah, good idea. Let's give it a try. Hey, Mr. Jacobs. Hello, Gwen. How are you doing? Good. Are you looking for something? Yeah. I have a solar panel that I thought would be fun for you kids to mess around with. Solar panel? You mean like they have on houses and light posts and stuff? Well, this is a little smaller, but when you hook it up to a little motor like this one, or one of these sound chips, it can be pretty fun. So, did you just feel like pulling those out today? Kyle and Ashley are pretending to be astronauts out back. I guess it just sparked a memory. Ah, there it is. Come on, Gwen. Let's see how it works. Okay. You found it! Yep. I also brought out a few electronic gadgets that we can use with it. What should we try first? What are these? I think he said they were sound chips? Let's do those first. All right. Let me just wrap this wire here and point the panel toward the sky. Nothing's happening. Well, I'm not an expert on solar panels, but I think we need to point it towards the sun. And right now it looks like there's a pretty big cloud in the way. I think you're right, Ashley. So I guess if we want the solar panel to work, we'll need to wait for it to move. But that could take forever. We could listen to the radio for a while. She's got a point, Kyle. But what if we miss our chance and another cloud comes to cover the sun? I'll keep an eye on the window, Kyle. Don't worry. All right. I guess we can do it then. Anything yet, Kyle? No. There have been some points where it looks like the cloud might let a little bit of sun through, but then they come right back. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait to try out the solar panel. I wonder if it's just cloudy where we are, or maybe it's cloudy everywhere right now. It can't be cloudy everywhere, Gwen. Well, how do you know that, Ashley? Because it's rarely cloudy in the desert, Kyle. Oh, well... (laughs) Is there something wrong, Mr. Jacobs? Oh, no. I was just remembering what the Bible says about hidden light. The Bible talks about the sun hiding behind clouds? Maybe somewhere in there it does, but I was thinking about what Jesus says in Matthew 5. Isn't that the part of the Bible where Jesus gives a big lesson on a mountain? That's right, Ashley. And in that chapter, he tells us not to be ashamed of being God's kids, but to do what is right so people can see how good God is. What's that got to do with light? I was getting there. He tells us that by doing good things, we're like a candle or a lamp. And when we're afraid or ashamed of living for God, it's like a person using a basket or something to cover the light up. I don't think I understand. Why would someone put a basket over a candle? I'm sure he has a script that can explain. I might, Ashley. I'll go look. And we'll keep listening to the radio and watching the sky. And now, from the garage of Lionel Jacobs comes the brilliant drama, The Lighthouse, an adapted biblical parable about good works. Once upon a time, on the rocky shores, there was a lighthouse. That's all right. We sailors depend on the lighthouse to tell us where we are in the midst of the stormy seas. Like all lighthouses, this one had an important job. When we see the light, we can look at our map and figure out where the big rocks are so we don't crash. I don't know what we'd do if we couldn't see the lighthouse. 
Yes, the lighthouse saved many a sailor by being a bright beacon in the darkness. But one day, the lighthouse keeper thought of something. You know, there are a lot of storms out here on the coast. I don't want this place to blow down with me in it. I had better protect my lighthouse with a great big wall. That will make it a lot safer. And so the keeper set to work on her protective wall. She stacked up bricks, poured concrete, and soon the wall was finished. The tower's light barely peeked over the top, and it looked a little funny. Passers-by laughed at the strange sight. I say, does that lighthouse keeper think she's living in a castle? It looks like she's getting ready for a giant flood or something. It does indeed. How can anyone take a lighthouse that looks like that seriously? When the keeper heard this, she looked at her wall and had to admit it did look a little strange. Embarrassed, she built the wall even higher and covered the tower completely. There. Now it looks like an ordinary tower, and no one will make fun of me. And people did stop making fun of her. The tower stood, impressive and imposing. And then something terrible happened. Avast there, mateys, it's another storm. Aye, and it's too dark to see the rocks. Don't worry, we just need to see the light from the lighthouse. That's the thing, Captain, I've been looking and looking, but I don't see it anywhere. We must not be close enough. That's good. That means we're nowhere near the rocks. Keep her on the ground! We're taking on water! We're going down! But where's the lighthouse? The moral is, God has told his children to live for him and share his love with others. But sometimes we're afraid to. Maybe we don't want the world to rub off on us. Maybe we don't want people to make fun of us. But if we hide God's love from others and don't share it, then they could run into serious trouble, like ships that can't see a lighthouse. See any breaks in the clouds, Kyle? Not yet, but it does look a little lighter out there. Mr. Jacobs, I have a question about what we've been talking about. Okay, Ashley, what's on your mind? You were talking about living for God so others could see, and I looked at Matthew 5 like you were talking about, and I found where Jesus said that. But I'm a little confused. Doesn't Jesus tell us to not do good things so people can see? That's right, in Matthew 6. The very next chapter? I don't get it. How can we do good things so people can see, but at the same time do them in secret so no one knows? That's a very interesting question. And the answers are in the verses, if we look carefully enough. Okay, like what? In Matthew 5, Jesus tells us to do what is right when people can see us. And then he tells us why we should do it. Let me look at this. Okay, so then they can praise God? Exactly. In this chapter, it's talking about doing good so that when people hear that we are God's children, they'll know that he is good. But what about chapter 6? Once again, Jesus tells us why we shouldn't do good things in public. It looks like in this chapter he's telling us not to show off. Right, Gwen. You can see the difference. If we're doing good things just to make ourselves look good, then that's no better than anyone else. Nobody wants to look bad. But if we do what is right and love others to help them see how good God is, that's what changes lives. And then they'll see the light. Not to break up the lesson time, but speaking of seeing the light, the clouds just broke, the sun is shining. Great, I'll grab the solar panel. Wait for me. Got the sound chips? Yeah, here, let's hook one up. Wow, it works. To think that you can make something happen with just a little light. It is amazing, isn't it? Oh, did someone turn off the radio? I'll get it. 